Jeff Gerstman. Hello, Ben Pack. I've got 500K in the bank. Let's we'll right. say we salvage some Xenotech. I want all the Xenotech. Well, I've got great news for you. The video game that I am playing right now is chock full of Xenotech. This is Cryptarch for the PC and PS4. All right. Um, it is a 2D mm -hmm. space, space roguelike. Roguelike, okay. Um, yeah, and it's pretty cool. I've been playing a little bit of it. It's hard. Mm. Of the $15 variety yes. that we're at here? Right okay. now, I believe you can get it for 25% off okay. on right. Steam. Um, and uh, let's dive in here. So this is kind of before you, you know, your your hub world has four different uh, areas that you can explore, uh -huh. each with different difficulties, different loot, that sort of stuff. So you choose one and then kind of hop into this loadout screen here where I can change all sorts of things. So I can change how much health I start with, okay. you know, and right. it costs a different amount of money. You can see in there in the bottom, my total is how much I'm spending of my bank roll. Um, you know, you can do ammo and get some more machine gun ammo oh, okay. if I want yeah. to. Um, and then you've got a couple other sub weapons. Uh, I use kind of the standard loadout here, which is a shield, uh, a melee ram move, and a grenade. Um, and then you can get health packs. Oh, yeah, um, that seems. And I'm just going to load up on those and keys, uh, which I can get into later. Um, and then over here on the right, you see kind of the level specific stuff. So this is a two in difficulty. Mm -hmm. Classes stockade. stockade. Uh, different classes kind of let you know what kind of things are going to be on the ship. There's some that are like power plants, and those have less em enemies, but more hazardous materials. Yeah, um, yeah. I don't really know what's in a stockade, but we're going to find out. All right, it looks like you're spending more money than the reward. Do you make money along the way? Mm, yeah, so you, you earn bonus money there under the bonus oh, thing. Okay. Uh, yeah. One is don't use repair kits. One is destroy sentry systems and load out max 125k. So let's see if I can get down under 125k. See if I get rid of two of these health packs. Maybe I never use the spike really, so I'm just gonna unequip that one. And let's go down a little bit on health and one less thing of ammo. There we go. All right. Uh, so now I'm gonna get that 54k bonus, and I'm gonna try and get the destroy sentry systems mm -hmm. um, bonus there too. So let me kind of show off what the ships look like. So if I hit tab, I can kind of scan the ship here. Uh -huh. And so these purple things are the different systems, and different systems do different things. So this one is the door system. So if you see those red lines uh, right. separating yeah. rooms, those are locked doors. Ah, okay. I can't enter yep. those until I take those out or I buy a key. Um, the main goal is to destroy the core always, and there is a shield protecting the core. So you always have to kind of destroy the shield, and then you can destroy the core. Mm -hmm. But destroying all these guys kind of help, because there's stuff like... Um, Alarm systems and and sentry systems. Okay. And yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try and destroy these two sentry systems. So I'm gonna set my objective there, and let's uh let's go check it out. Keep an eye on the mission clock. Our contractors are running a tight schedule, and they'll start dinging us if we take too long to secure the ship. Oh God. Okay. So this game's not the easiest video game I've ever played. Okay. Um, what is the easiest video game you've ever played? Probably Pac-Man. That's that can't be true. That can't be true. Uh De Desert Bus? Okay. Sure. Um so this game is a lot about kind of balancing uh taking your time and rushing to objectives because the enemies can very easily overwhelm you. There's a lot of turrets, there's a lot of these guys which are mines, mm -hmm. there's all sorts of ships which you can kind of get by if you're clever enough, but also you don't want to get in too deep because uh, you will quickly find yourself overwhelmed. Yeah. And then it seems like there's time pressure to get the objectives done too, right? Is that a, yes. a major factor or has the time limit stuff been pretty easy? I have never ran out of time yet, but I definitely die before I run out of time. Yeah. Okay. So this is early on here. I have a save that didn't transfer over, so they're giving me a lot of the tutorial ah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. 
So taking out this guy will kind of destroy a lot of the turrets that I will mm. find throughout the rest of the ship. Uh oh, I'm out of energy for my shield. Harsh. Yeah. This, uh, oh gosh. Maybe I can't destroy that guy down there. Uh, yeah, he's, I mean, he's got a shield around him whenever you, you shoot over there, right? I mean, it's, yeah. it doesn't seem like you're getting too many hits through. That's the first enemy I've encountered that I can't just straight up murder. Um, so kind of the, the idea of this game is you do these jobs to make money, and then once you've made enough money, you kind of go on to the next area. Uh -huh. um, they get increasingly more difficult, you know, kind of standard fare. But then you also find these, oh, I'm almost out of ammo too. Uh, there are ammo pods mm -hmm. in the ship I can use to recover some. These things here, tech terminals, which kind of give you unlockable stuff you can equip ah, in okay. later missions. Yeah. Which is where the roguelike stuff comes oh, in. Oh, but you equip it in later missions, not right now? Yes. Okay. Oh. So I will have to get out of here. Yeah, oh, God. These thought... guys just push me around. Oh, I'm... Uh, that's... Okay. Okay. Well. All right. Well, I don't have my melee thing anymore. I have very low ammo. I'm looking on my map here. Let's try it. So there's a health pod here. I'm going to try and get to that guy. And there's an ammo pod down there by the shield, so mm. I'll make my way down there after that. Oh. Oh, man. Maybe I forgot about these enemies that just basically push you. That's all they do. And oh. the melee dash is actually really good for dealing with those because you can move faster than they push you. Ah, yeah. Um, oh, God, please heal me. Uh, yeah. Oh, repair. Okay, that's great. Oh, this is not a through. This is not <laughs> you, a through this street. Is, you've well, all right. Oh, I forgot about my grenades. Yeah, you got grenades, which are actually really strong, but you know they're grenades. Yep. You can't exactly yeah. just shoot them. Okay, how do I get? Here. All right, I can't go through locked doors, so this game is not making it easy for me. Um. And you can totally run out of money. And on the on the mission where you're about to run out of money, they go, "Hey, uh, you need to succeed here, or we're fucked." <laughs> yeah. And then if you don't succeed, your campaign is over. Okay. Yeah. That's. Um, there are eight different ship types which you can unlock. Oh, I need a key. Um, by collecting artifacts. Uh, which start appearing in the second wave of ships. Wow, I can't get in through any of these doors because they're all locked. If I had destroyed the door system, yeah. then it'd be another story. I have to use the last of my ammo here very wisely. Whew. Oh, I can't go through this door. Okay, what? how do I actually... I have to go up and around, it looks like. Oh, oh, I thought I could squeeze by that guy. Hello. Oh. Don't worry about this. Critical, that's a good thing, right? That's yeah, no, that means you're like critical hit, you depleted. Oh, I'm out of ammo, too. There should be some supply Okay, um, well, uh, just just don't get hit again. Don't and, what? Uh, it'll be fine. Don't what? Oh, are you dying in space? I died in space. Oh, pioneer punching out. Get another suit out the rack and we'll try again. Yeah, so it costs a hundred thousand dollars. Man, that's a, that's a harsh penalty on top of losing all the money you just spent on. Yeah, so that's that's kind of the thing here. It's it's a very delicate balance of yeah. making money and not dying. So let's go to a difficulty one here. Uh, we got dreadnought. That's a one. A colony arc. That's a one. Let's go with this guy. Um, and I'm not going to try and get any of the mon monetary. You're just going to go in and, and I'm, murder. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to spend some money. You got to spend money to make money. That's no, I I, I know business. So first and it up. takes money. Yeah. To take money. Did Les teach you that? Yeah. That's uh, our weekly one on one. <laughs> he goes over the finer points of what it is to run a business. And I go like, so we just do whatever. And he's like, he's like, yeah, yeah, I mean, more or yeah, less, sort of, kind of, but also be ruthless. Okay, so it says here my ship reward is 113,000, but every time I've cleaned it, 
or every time I've cleared a level, I've gotten something in like the 500,000s, so maybe oh. there are bonuses for like killing enemies okay. and, yeah. and that sort of stuff. Um, I'm gonna try and keep two systems though, because I rarely find myself destroying all the systems. So let's see what we got here. We've got the core, drone factory, alarms. Which one does it want me to keep? Sentry system. What's that? This guy? So I'll keep the sentry system and I'll keep the door system and, and destroy the shield. I wish it didn't take me through locked doors. I think. Yeah, this, that this seems is, like a, it's a, a, some bum advice. So it looks like I need to go through the bottom, go around, go up through the bottom, mm -hmm. and then go back around. All right, this one's going to be easy. I, I can feel it. Yeah. I feel good about this. Um... Are you uh, playing with a gamepad or are you mouse and keyboarding? I am remote? mouse and keyboarding it. It seems like it would be a little bit easier to play with the gamepad because you have four um, different weapons, basically, you can have in your loadout. And okay, yeah. four different mouse buttons to use the weapons with is sometimes not great. Um, it's not like unusable. Yeah, yeah. These fuckers just dive me. That I can dive him back. That's right, redive. I hate I hate the melee dive. It's inaccurate. It doesn't go very far. Hmm. Okay, here we go. I like to chain dive. Um, so this is the shield core. It oh. will deflect bullets back at you and do damage. Um, I should be a little more careful with my ammo. There we go. Uh, so the controls in is, are very tight. Um, I never feel like it's the game fucking me over. Uh -huh. I feel like it's me, my right. carelessness fucking me yeah, over. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's you being you that's the problem here. Yeah. So let's back out of here. I think I can go around. Let's see, this is the core. It's like my best bet is just going through right here. And there's one of these little systems. So you want to hit as many of these as you can, right, to get more oh, and more sure. weapons. Right. The look of this game feels a little dated, maybe. Kind of like yeah, I, yeah. 2000s flat, flat. Like it doesn't. The quality is not that of a flash game, but some of the design reminds me of right, flash like just games. some of the the. Yeah, I I see what you're saying, I think. It's, I don't think it looks bad. I, I think it's, oh god, I don't even, oh god. Hold like on. this stuff that looks like vaguely organic. Yeah. Like is kind of. Is this the core? Oh god, oh, oh no, this is the core over here. It's always the big brain. Oh. Oh, there's a lot of fucking. Uh, there's a. Those yeah, thanks for telling me after oh, I trip yeah. the alarm systems. Mm. That's bad. Hey. Okay, well, I'm just gonna shoot a bunch of grenades. Hey, buddy, it's rough. Oh, God, there's so many dudes. You're, oh, you're almost there. Geez. Oh, wait, maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Oh, I think I'm almost there. I just gotta get this last chunk of brain. There we are. System neutralized. Please stop. Thank you. And now you have to get out? Nope. Oh, okay. All right. So I spent about 150k. Yeah. For examination, we appreciate your consideration of this secondary objective, Captain. You guys are real creepo. Okay. Okay. You, and then you make you, a little bit money. of money back on what you don't use. Yeah. It's obviously oh, okay. way right. less than you spend, but yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Turns out one of the salvage operators. So this is the artifact thing. These are how you unlock your other ships. Ah, um, there I are see. eight total. Mm -hmm. And there are, is that like run based or is that a permanent unlock? It is a permanent uh, unlock. When you start a new campaign, you choose your ship. Okay, got it. Um, so I'm going to back out here and show off another mode. He'll smuggle us the artifact. I know a long list of buyers who would be very interested in these sort of trinkets. So the cool thing is you can do co-op on that campaign oh, stuff. Yeah. Um, I haven't tried it, but I assume it's not split screen, you know, but 
Right. So, so yeah, here are the different, you know, there's like got the it. heavy class, this guy, I want to unlock the weevil real bad because he mm. teleports around. Oh, huh. Um, and so you see that the bottom there needs two artifacts. Uh, oh, okay, so the artifacts are generic and then you spend them? Yes. Okay. I thought maybe it would be like, this artifact unlock... turned out to be the gun head, or, you know, or whatever. Yeah, well, the, they are, are, the artifacts do have names and stuff attached to them, but I believe you just crash oh, them okay. in. Um, and you can lock other skins for artifacts as well. Oh. Uh, so let's hop in. This is the rogue, mo they just call it rogue, this mode. Um, and there's none of the hub world stuff. It's just, hey, you're in here, destroy the core, good luck. Um, and it's like a series of them that okay. get increasingly more difficult. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, but with more in-house drops. Uh, more like loot oh, okay. caches yeah, yeah. And, and health regen pods and stuff like that. So yeah, cause this is kind of the game. Right, um, yeah. Uh, have you seen a lot of uh, visual variety between uh, the different ship, you know, like stockade versus whatever. Or uh, all kinda... A little bit. The, the strangest one I saw was Power Plant, and it had very few enemies, but a lot of weird, like, vats of goo mm. and, like, seismic explosions and stuff okay. like that. Yeah. And most of the enemies were designed to, like, push you into that stuff or... Ah, uh, yeah. So it was more about, you know, you take take less ammo with you, but maybe more health because you're going to be hitting right. your nuclear cores. Um, Okay. I don't know which core I'm destroying, but I hate it. Yeah, I mean, it's a core. It's really... Oh, don't get me started on cores. <sighs> Looks like you're already well on your way with these cores. You don't need me to get you started. Why don't they make the whole ship out of the cores? Am I right? Huh? I don't know what's in here. This is just a room with two enemies in here. Why would I ever open that door? It's... This. You know, you could close. Can you close doors? Could you like hide? Oh, I found an artifact. It seems that we're not the first invaders to visit this fleet throughout hmm. the years. These chitinous shells appear to belong to an entirely separate alien faction, unlike any of the other materials we've recovered. So I wonder if these factors are into the story at all. Yeah. Simply curious explorers. I do like this guy's look and voice. Uh, yeah, the voices have been pretty uh, all right so far. Yeah. Your little commander lady, this guy, the shadowy figures, uh -huh. they're all they're all pretty good. Um, there's a lot of oh fuck. Do I not have a key? I just mm. thought I got a key. Mm. Uh, did you did you use it to open that door to I that meaningless have. room? I must have. That's great. Let's look here. Let's see how I want to get around. There's a key over and down. Okay. Where? Yeah, down. Oh, right, right there. there. Yeah. yeah. And some ammo. Um, and you know, you get like bonuses on. Ooh. Oh, I see. I got a heavy machine gun here. I can replace one of my weapons with it. Mm. Now I got. Okay. No. Oh. Sweet. Wow, this is a lot of damage. Yeah, I was going to say, your basic weapon seems to do very little damage. Yeah, and, and there's. there. You also come. Uh, the other default weapon is a shotgun, uh -huh. uh, but I found myself wanting to run away and pick off. Oh, why can't I go up there? There's like a wall here? Nope. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I found myself, you know, running and gunning a lot more than yeah. trying to get up in dude's faces. Right, yeah. It seems like the bullet patterns might make it better to treat everything from a distance. Yeah. I do appreciate how hard it is. I, I do appreciate that on my first campaign, I beat one level before. <laughs> oh, right. No, I don't want to go out here. But now there's a dude in here. Will shoot. Just... Can you shoot him? No. Oh. Maybe I can just kind of get, get out of here. Okay, well. Oh, he's, fi he's fine. He didn't want to fight either, but yeah. I blew him up. Well. Let's get this cannon going. I don't need a shield. No, shields are for suckers. What is this? Oh, this is just like a magnum kind of... Very hard to aim. Yeah. It's the game this time, not me. Oh, of course. Yeah, this time... I never the, I never questioned game. it. Oh, this is another open zone. That one tricked me. See, it's kind of tricky there. Mm -hmm. Where am I going? I want to go to the shield room. And now that I have a key... Oh, I can just go up. So I did want to go out here. 
Uh, it's this game really like gets me frantic. Uh, there's just so much happening. And yeah, it seems like when, limit. when things get hairy, that it goes right. And there's I mean, like resource management that you have to worry about. Uh, I do see myself playing this quite a bit. I just worry a little bit about, like you mentioned, variety. Like, yeah, I don't know how yeah. long the campaigns are. Um, maybe, you know, I've just scratched the surface and they kind of get more elaborate as they go. Right. But from what I have seen, they all kind of be this semi... They, I just said they all kind of be this. They all kind of be this. <laughs> They're all kind of these semi-organic metallic alien-esque uh, right. functions. There's a key terminal right next to you. Okay. Get that key. I don't... I do need a key. Um, there's a lot of hacking. Uh, I'm surprised we haven't seen any of it yet, but you have to, like, hit the arrow keys. Oh, I, we, I, I, we did see some of that. Oh, yeah, that's, uh, there was the a very scene of that. Yeah. Um, which means you have to take your hand either off movement or off shooting. Uh, I wonder how they handle that on a controller. Yeah, it'd be like just face buttons or something. Um, but I kind of really dig it because it's like, okay, you can either shoot at people or run away, but you can't do both while you're hacking. Right, yeah. Um, Machine gun ammunition depleted. Okay, that's fine. I got this. Okay, okay, that's fine. Well, that's. This is all fine. I've got the heavy machine gun. I've almost had the big brain. Please open. I have a key! I have a key! Not anymore, you don't. I have a key! You saw me. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay then. I guess you didn't have a key. Looks like the key... The keys are the friends we make along the way. The keys to victory in this game are to have keys. <laughs> Am I uh, right? Um, you're right. Where's, oh yeah. Okay, so like, yeah, there's a little story yeah. beats about the extended universe of Cryptarch. Um, you know, it's cool that they look, link to their wiki right here. You oh, can go sure. check out like yeah. weapon descriptions and stuff like that. And then there's this Cryptarch ex excavation, excavation okay. mode, but you have to oh. do that, which I have not come close to doing. I was going to say, beat both. Like, jeez. Um, but yeah, th th it seems cool. It, it just came out of, uh, I believe, a, it, was, it had some sort of early access version. Yeah. But it is still, as of this recording, on sale for Steam for 11 bucks, normally oh. 15 right. on Steam and PS4. Cool. And uh, yeah, I dig it. I'm gonna play some more of it, and maybe I'll report back and let you know how it ends up looking later on. But right. sounds good. For now, I'm just gonna keep slamming my face against these aliens. Yeah, keep uh, keep pounding those keys to get those keys. I had a key. And then move those keys.